So, welcome back. We want to continue where we left off with Sherry talking about an experience of hers with abuse and we're going to talk about it i've already told you guys i've experienced abuse too but we're going to talk a little bit more about it in detail so let's continue to speak to the experience about that loving someone more than yourself more than yourself and then even with them hurting you you feel like you can be the savior so to speak right yeah because you feel like you know something had to trigger that in them you know is it a learned behavior? Is it something that, you know, they saw before by someone mm-hmm. they loved, you know? Right. And in my situation, that's what it was. They right. saw so- something from their loved ones, and right. that's how they knew to share love. You right, know? right. That's how they knew, like, look, I love you this much. So, I so this is what I got to do. <laughs> right, right, right. And that was true of my situation, too. Like, the person learned that. From someone else and although you like to think you didn't pick that up yep. you know because you lived your life and you know maybe you've made some changes over time but then it surfaces again one because what you didn't deal with it yep. but it is a learned behavior that and person now, learns it from someone else person, you know what I'm saying so of course they're right. not going to say that I learned it from that I hate that person right because of what they did right so right. I would never do that. Right. You know. What I'm right. Saying? And then there's people. Or like, or they believe that the situation is different. Yep. You deserve it. Like that that the person that did that before, it was crazy. It was unheard of. But you you deserve it. You yeah. you, you caused this. You yep. know, not realizing that it's something deeper yep. within them. And then you know, there's people out there that didn't even make it, or yeah. you know, because of this, you go into a deeper depression. Or yeah. You know, because you feel like you're not worthy. You know how long I felt like because of that, the people that came into my life, Mm. it was like hard. Right. You know, the people and and it it was hard for me to open up to another person. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I think even for me, um, I became a people pleaser. Um. I also experienced what I think was depression. I was never like medically diagnosed, but not really feeling to be around people, trying to hide it, feeling like maybe I don't need to be here. I'm causing more harm than good. Um, I, and to be very honest, although I never made the attempt, I considered maybe I should take my own life, which if I'm experiencing that and I feel like that, that experience wasn't my entire life it wasn't my entire life story somebody that lived that their entire life what yeah, must they feel he used to have to take he, he i used to call him and just to just to talk him off a ledge like he right. just be like look i just want to take these pills yeah and go to sleep yeah I just yeah. feel like sleep is where I need to be. Right, right. I have and a family member um, that um, that actually did that, and they didn't survive. And it was shocking because nobody knew. And this is, again, like that, that silence that they're living in, and nobody knows the wiser. And then all of a sudden, poof, they're gone, and you're wondering why. Like what happened, what, what happened, what didn't happen. You know, we get so caught up in whether it's someone's great looking life or somebody's life that seems to have always been in turmoil. And you just wonder like, how do we get through? But I think that I totally believe in prayer. Prayer does amazing things, but I believe with prayer, there's certain actions that need to be taken. And I think counseling, whether you need to see a psychologist, psychiatrist, a counselor, someone that can help you put the pieces together and build through that. And along with having strong counsel around you, friends that are going to uplift you, support you, family that's going to be there to cover you, to pray for you, to to help you grow and build through each and every emotion that that takes you through because 
there's anger, there's sadness, there's there's feeling of rejection. There's all these sorts of things that kind of bottle up into everything. And then you have some people that suffer from anxiety, like any kind of thing triggers. And it's it's like a moment where they can't even catch their breath because they feel reminded of something that they thought they let go of. You know what I mean? say that and I am talking about him and I feel like you know I, once we finish I need I should call mm. because I feel like again my friend that we just that I told you about before yeah you know I don't want to be that friend again that doesn't call and doesn't check up and then now it's too late I can't even talk to them yeah so that's another thing too that People suffer from grief, um, friends, loved ones that have passed on. And um, what Sherry is speaking to is feeling like she didn't do her all for her friend and now she's gone. And that hurts. It hurts like hell. Let's just be honest about it. But I think that we have to understand that life is happening for us all and Yes. Can we be better friends? Sure. I know I'm not the greatest friend to every friend that I have. I try to be there and whatever. But sometimes you just have like your set group or your set people that you hang around. And it's not discrediting those that you don't see on a regular basis. But it, it it's a struggle to try to like get to everyone. You know what I mean? And I just feel like we have to give ourselves a little more grace and just understand that time is of essence for us all. And we can try our best to just do what we can in the time that we have. A call here and there, it, 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 it's, it's more than anybody could have ever done. And I know that you've reached out to your friend. It's not like you've never called. It's not like you've never showed up if that was the case i don't i don't think that you would have been able to still sustain a relationship and you guys did so i i need you to hold on to that she was the one that called i'm not gonna be that person to sit here and take credit for because i feel like if i did call it it was for something you know she was the one that just called me just to say hey how you doing (laughs) right which is why i say what kind of friend am i you're a very good friend. Um, I've seen you do friendship um, for everyone, including me. But, and, and here's something. I appreciate your honesty and your vulnerability. Again, none of us are the greatest friends to everyone. And we have to understand that sometimes the ball is just going to drop. And I want to give my greatest sympathy to you and the loss of your friend but she still loved you regardless that didn't matter which is why she reached out to you it didn't matter that she didn't hear from you she still was going to reach out to you and I don't think she thought of you less as a friend I just think that she was just doing her part while she could and you accepted her calls when you could and when you didn't it was just when you didn't It wasn't because I don't like you. It wasn't because, you know, just because I don't care about you. It just was in that moment. And now it is. It's just like those people that you, it's like those people that you let down. Like now you want to, where was God in that situation? God is always present. God is always present. Always present. But We have run out of time, y'all, so tune in to the next video and we shall continue this topic amongst other topics. Thank you for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, Sherry, for being here and creating a little difference for the channel this time around. Have a phenomenal, legendary, and blessed morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are.